Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our second film in our series on how to put in an exploded view into a drawing format. This is an exploded view of an assembly. And along with that assembly, uh, that exploded assembly, we're going to have a bill of materials and balloons that are going to go with it. And uh, yeah, now let's say uh, we're at the point now where we're going to put in that exploded uh, assembly and some of the options involved in that. So what you want to do, there's a couple things you can do uh, in order to get that model in here. And I had that model opened up in the background. So if we did control tab, it allows me to toggle between the two open documents that I have. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this document in its exploded view and put it into this document, a drawing format. You also want to make sure that you have the proper uh, formatted uh, drawing template open right now. You have it saved in the right location. And you also want to make sure, since my model was designed in inches, I'm going to have my drawing uh, open also uh, using the inches template. One thing you've got to keep in mind now, if you're going to use inches, if you're going to use the standard uh, template file that's uh, available from the book, and from uh, SolidWorks, as uh, guided by the book, you want to make sure you change your format uh, to inches over here. I don't want to see an inches uh, drawing. It says it's, uh, the units are in millimeters. One thing it's easy to do, it's really easy to ignore the title block. Ignore all the, ignore all the stuff in the title block. The title block needs to be updated as well as all the other inf information in your drawing. So you do have to treat it with respect and uh, know that people are going to be reading it. And if there's errors in it, they're not going to think very much of you if you do that so yeah so make sure that uh, your uh, units are specified in here and the proper uh, tolerances are, are put in there too okay enough said about that a couple different ways you can do insert your draw your model into your drawing you can go to insert on the pull down menu and uh, oops go to drawing view or you can go to the view layout tab on your command manager and pick model view here I already have the gauge wheel assembly open, so it's already got that selected, so that's okay. I'm going to go to the arrow, the next arrow up here, on the top of the, the top of the manager, which is the property manager over here. And uh, I have a choice up here. If we start from the top of the bottom, let's just take a look at uh, some of the options over here. We have right assembly as one of our options. Remember, we had a left uh, assembly, too, as a configuration. And our derive configuration is going to be uh, that exploded view, so we're going to take a look at that later. We can do multiple views right now, or we can check, uh, pick the, the view that we want, like if we want just the isometric view, which we really do want ultimately. We can choose that individually over here. Typically it starts with the front view as a default setting. Or you can create multiple views if you wanted to too. For instance, you can start with the front view, right view, isometric view, top view. I automatically lines those up in there. That's, that might be convenient. Uh, a couple of other options in here is dimetric and trimetric as opposed to the isometric. And a current model view too. If you have uh, however you have it uh, appearing in your current model, you can also import that in there too. Uh, you can do a preview on it. What that does is it opens up a, um, you know, it actually shows you what the model looks like instead of the instead of uh, just the box. It would show otherwise. As we move down here, we can do all the auto start projected view. If that isn't clicked, that's also convenient. We're going to do multiple views. This gives us the ability to click on like maybe the the front view the right view, the top view, and the asymmetric view allows us to do that all at once. And I don't really want to do that. I'm going to do Control z and get out of that. But the desire here is to kind of show you all the different options. Back to model view. Uh, yes, we want to do uh, the gauge wheel. So we're going to go to the next arrow in the Properties Manager. And go down. Here are some other options regarding display style. What we want is uh, shaded with edges with our isometric view. And regarding the sheet scale, we're not certain what the what it's going to look like when we get in here, but we are going to come back to the screen and actually change that scale in order to have our exploded view actually somewhat fill up about half the page. So, let's go to uh, shade of edges, go up here to isometric view, and I think I'm probably going to favor the right hand side of our, our screen. Now, right now it's just showing in that view, I'll go to the green check mark over here, it's just showing our uh, collapse view rather than our exploded view. So we're going to right click on that, go to properties of that view, and we're actually going to click on, it's kind of like a derived uh, configuration you might say. It's, it is a, a derived configuration, but the way you get that derivation of that configuration up, is you choose the right configuration first and then you go to this checkbox and show it in an exploded state. And then go to OK. Nice thing about that is it shows not only the exploded state, but it also shows our exploded line sketches that we have in there. 
They look a little bit different now. They're just dashed lines as opposed to uh, other lines. We can change those line, that line format if we desire to in our options button up here to our property, uh, document properties. But we're not going to do that. We're going to stick with all the default settings up for now. The last thing we're going to do in this film is we're going to change the scale a little bit. Instead of using a sheet scale of a 1 to 10, we're going to go to uh, use a custom scale. And maybe 1 to 5 would be a good one. 1 to 2. 1 to... Ooh. <laughs> that's really big. You know, 1 to 5 probably would uh, would probably uh, fit better. We're going to make it half of the 1 to 10. So if you want to do that, if you don't see the standard scale in here, let's go ahead and uh, choose a, a different scale. You know, 1 to 5 probably would be appropriate, or 1 to 10 would be appropriate for metric, but this is inches. So I just had to remind myself of that. It is inches, so let's stick with some, and, uh, some typical inch uh, fractional equivalents. So maybe 1 to 4 would be good rather than 1 to 5. And that 2 is a little bit big, so or 1 to 10 would have been the other one. So maybe 1 to 8 would be uh, one we could probably, probably finally uh, settle on. Okay, so that looks pretty good. If you want to move that around, you, you can do that. Make sure you do the green check mark over here first. You can take that view and move it to a position that you like. And that looks pretty good to me so far. Next step is going to be building materials, and we're going to put our balloons on this, and uh, we'll get going with the model.